Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm doing a get ready with me and talking about what I want for this year or maybe like goals I have and they are not that many but I wanted to do this and I asked you if you wanted to see this and you said yes and yeah, I'm doing a get ready with me and yes, I have cut my hair today and the hairdresser asked if I wanted if she should curl my hair and I was like it doesn't hold up but we can try and I don't know it was like three hours since I cut my hair and the curls is like gone and I hate this that has become out of the curls hate it but we just have to live with it I have short hair again and I love to have it I don't know if it looks good on me though but if it's good to not have too much hair. So, okay, today I'm doing a get ready with me and I got a little new setup. I don't know if you can see any difference. I have like behind the scenes a little bit, new, a little bit of a new setup. So I really hope that you like this. It's not that much different for you though, I don't think. But we're going to do this and I'm going to use a palette today and I am so embarrassed about this. It is the Nabla Dreamy. I have had this for over one year and I haven't used it. That's why this uh, I got a low by year 2019 because that's not good. So okay, <laughs> the Dreamy palette it looks like this and this is the first one I have bought number two and I think this was Nabla's First eyeshadow palette. It looks like this, so it's kind of purple, kind of neutral, but I think I like it. I don't know because I haven't tried it, but I like this so blooming. So I think I'm just going to use this today because I don't want to do a first impression of this because it doesn't feel like it's something you want so I'm just going to use it here in my get ready with me and talking about my new year's resolution but it's not like I think that new year's resolution can if you translate it to Swedish I think that is nyårslöften and I don't want that because I don't want to feel bad if I can't do it so I am thinking about having like goals for this year and goals is not the same I think because you can't like break a goal you can try to finish your goal do but like a promise you can break a promise and uh, it's one thing I have learned I can't be that hard on myself and we maybe can start because that is one of the goals for this year. I had it as goal yesterday, I last year as well. I don't want to be too hard on myself. I am very good at talking bad about myself and it's like it's on work related things and also in my personal life. But I want to stop that. I am like my my biggest critic. I really am. I'm just gonna take some lip oil from Linda Hallberg because my lips this is so dry. I am so good at talking bad about myself and I really want to change that this year. I or be better because I was a little bit better in the end of last year. I don't want to take I want to be nicer to myself and that is both with work, it's with how I am as a person, towards my body. I don't want to be too hard on how I look. I can just be honest and say that I hate my body. I have been like this, um, I don't know how many years ago it was. Okay, this is going to be a long thread with me. Um... This was a long time ago, maybe it was like five years ago, I 
started to work out really like taking it serious and I lost some weight and now I have gained it again and it fucks with my head I can't lie and say it doesn't because it really do but and I hate it and I've been so hard on myself and towards my body but I have come to the conclusion that I need to be nicer to my body my body has put up with me for a lot of shit that I've done to it and it still work like it should I don't have any pains I my body works as it should and it's surprising that it do sometimes because so mean I had been to it and so bad I have treated it it shouldn't be this good so this year I like I want to be happy that my body is working not how it looks or anything just it is working as it should so that I want to do more of this year be nicer to myself and I can tell myself that I am good at things because I have heard about this imposter syndrome thing I don't really know what it's called and I <laughs> think I am a good example of that it feels like at work that people are going to like <laughs> what is it even called in English they're gonna reveal that I am not good at what I'm doing it's just a, like an illusion and I need to stop that because I am good and I am so bad at taking compliments so bad <laughs> and I want to be better at that when somebody say that I am good I want to take that to me I have such a hard time for that like when my boss says I have done a great job I am like okay he just saying that to be nice he doesn't really mean it and I need to change, change that okay, I think I have to Put up my goal so I don't forget something so that's one of my goals I need to be nicer to myself both like physically and physically and phys both my ba my brain and my body I really need to do that something else that's regarding my appearance I almost said my what is it even called my body I am going to eat vegan for the whole month of January a little bit I think that's better today it is Saturday the 11th and this is far I have been vegan for this for this whole year and it feels nothing special I usually eat like 99% vegan so it hasn't been that hard yet the only thing I'm going to miss like crazy is chocolate because I thinking about if I can do this month I am thinking about continuing to be vegan I don't know yet but it's just something that has been on my mind for a while and I eat like almost all the food I eat at home yes I'm looking for brush it's already vegan so yeah but you are not going to see any difference about that because I am I am I have never been and I will never be one of these people that like try to force you to be a vegan or cut down on the meat you do you and I do me so yeah okay maybe I should swatch some things but at the same time I just want to play should we just play maybe we should just play I just I just do something 
So I want to be eat more vegan things and I also want to try to switch out some things at home for more vegan like washing powder and stuff like that and I already have like all my hair care and my shower creams and body everything to my body is already vegan but I I think I want to have like the most things at home vegan as well. It is a little bit more hard with that because it's not only me that lives here. It's also my boyfriend and he is so far from a vegan you can be. He loves meat. Bacon is like his passion in life. But I am going to try to do that. That is going to be like, maybe 2020 is the year that I become a vegan. I know my mother is going to hate me for that. She thinks it's so hard, but I'm like, mom, I can cook my own food. You don't have to cook for me when I'm steam. But yeah, maybe I should do in Halo. I think I do Halo. Another thing that I want to do is... I have talked about this a lot. I am not the best sleeper. <laughs> I sleep too little and when I am sleeping, I am sleeping like this. I don't have enough deep sleep and that makes me so freaking tired. And I want to like change that because I, I don't like to <laughs> go around and be tired. Most of the time, but for a period, I don't know when it was, maybe September, October last year, I did go on walks, like four days a week or something like that, and that made me sleep better, because like my body was more relaxed, and I want to start to do that again, but it's like... <laughs> The weather outside, it's not winter in Sweden, not where I live at least, but it's like this, I don't know, it's 3 degrees Celsius outside today, and it's just like grey, everything is grey, and I don't want to go out to go in that weather, but I really need to start moving again. Do some exercise so I can sleep better. I don't really care if I lose weight. I wouldn't be mad if I do. But it's not like the whole purpose with it. I need to sleep better. That's like the thing I need. And another thing like to try to help me sleep. I want to stop doing things on my phone when I am going to bed. I don't know how it is with you, but I can like lay, go to bed in like a good time and then like scroll on my phone for half an hour and then I am not going to go to sleep. And I know that, but I still lie there and like scrolling my way through Instagram and I need to stop doing that. So I am thinking to have like a mobile no mo mobiles in bed because it's fucking up my sleep I think so that is another goal it weren't good the first week now the last days it hasn't gone that good at all but I really need to like start to read a book or something instead because scrolling on my phone is not a good thing to do when I'm going to bed and is this really neutral? Halo eye? But I think I really like it. I have used Dogma, I think it was called, and this Metal Cupid maybe. Really like it. And I also want to do something about our apartment. As you may know, we are looking to buy a house, but right now it's... Uh, We are waiting for the right house 
and it hasn't come yet. Or maybe it hasn't, but it has, but it has been too expensive. And we have pretty much stuff, me and my boyfriend, because we have different, like, hobbies. He loves cooking books and books, and we have such a big bookshelf in our living room, and it's taking up so much space, and he also has an interest in cigars, <laughs> and also in, like, rum and whiskey and I have my makeup things here so I take up the whole bedroom with my makeup and my skincare is in the whole bathroom and he has his things in the living room and I want to declutter our home um, with some things at least not everything because we still want to keep the things that we love okay I am going to before I continue take what not much fallout at all but I'm going to take away the little fallouts I have and then we can do the base together okay where was I okay I'm going to do my base and I'm just going to prime a little bit first and for foundation I bought my first foundation for this year I bought the Ordinary Serum Foundation. I really love this. I bought a new color this time. I bought Very Fair Neutral. Last time I had this, I had Very Fair Neutral with silver highlights. I also have uh, this foundation. They're pretty fresh from Colourpop. I know that a lot of people love this. I do not. The one thing I don't like about it is... I love like the coverage, it's pretty light and that's good, but this never dries down on me and it is, I have nothing against a little bit sticky concealer, concealer, um, foundation, but this is like gluey, like it's not just like sticky, it's like your fingers like and I need to set it with so much powder because it eats like powder and then I feel just super dry and cakey in my face and I don't know about the angle. Because maybe that's better. And I am like, okay, I'm... I do not want to use this, <laughs> I at least think. So I'm going to use the Ordinaries and I loved this the last time I had it so I really hope I still do. And what I can remember with this is what it was like a little, little too light, dark, I mean. But because it is such like light coverage foundation, it didn't matter. Okay, maybe I should just do this and then I come back. And you know what? I still really, really like it. Maybe it is a little too dark or maybe it's like perfect. I'm so bad to see that, but this foundation is it's so good and I think you can build a little bit of coverage with it. The only thing I have a problem with when I have a, like this light coverage foundation is when I'm doing my concealer. It's like showing a lot that I have concealer, but what you gonna do? I talked about decluttering in the home. Yes, I did. I have started to do my wardrobe. And, uh, oh yeah. I think I did pretty good. I throw one bag away with, like, clothes that were, um, with holes in them and stuff like that. And, like, pantyhose and panties and some bras that was like completely out of shape uh, I throw them away and then I donated three bags of clothes and one bag of shoes and I am still not I've gone through maybe half of my wardrobe 
so much left. But it's like I'm only using the same kind of clothes all the time. Okay, now will these two goes together? What if they don't do that? What if they do? So that I want to continue with, but I like always when I've tried to do these things in in the past, I'm like, okay, I need to do this today. I need it to be finished today. But this year I'm going to do like Okay, I can't change my life overnight, so I've taken one day to clean out the closet and when I feel like it I'm going to take the other half of it. I'm not going to stress this because then I know it's not going to be good. But then I also have like a goal for this year that is the complete opposite. I just want to just do things. I am one of these person that I can like one thing can bug me Okay, I can take an example. In our living room, we have a lot of, lot of like uh, cords, uh, like to the TV, the lamps in the window, the PlayStation, and everything. And <laughs> because we have like, first we bought the TV, all the plugs to that, and all the cords and everything. And then we bought a new thing and we just plug things in and it was like a mess. You know when it's like a bird's nest. It's like cords everywhere and you don't know what is what. And it has bothered me for such a long time. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to fix this. And it took like five minutes, not even five minutes. And it looks so clean. So I want to be better at that this year to just do things. Not like, okay, do that later, when it things like take under 10 minutes. And I think that is like a thing. If it's under, I don't know if it's 15 minutes or what it is. If it takes under that, you should just do it at once. And I want to be better at that this year. <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean. I think a lot of people have these things like... You're just like, I'm going to do it later, but that later never comes and you, it bothers you that much. But then when you finally do it, it takes like two minutes and then you are, why haven't, why haven't I done this before? That I want to be better at. Okay, for my under eyes, or maybe I should do my base finished first. But I can't remember this foundation dries down. Yeah, maybe I should do my face first. I am actually thinking about only using Nabla products for my face. And almost all of these are Nabla, so I'm thinking I'm going to use this as contour, that as a blush, and that highlighter. Okay, was I done with things I want to do at home? Should I take in YouTube stuff? Um, regarding my YouTube. YouTube. I want to be better at planning things. I am so bad at that right now. And if I'm going to be honest, I have always been bad at that for like all the time I have had my YouTube channel. I am just a not, I'm just not a good planner. I know that. But I want to be a good planner. But it's just hard, and I don't know why. I am so impressed by people that are good at planning. I want to be one of those, but I am not. But I want to be better at planning. And that is another thing that I wanted to talk about in this video. I am thinking about taking a little break from YouTube. I want to take a break for maybe like a week just to hmm. Okay, like it has been I think the two videos before this 
I will like film them, edit them and upload them at the same day, like after work. And that is something I don't like to do because I feel so stressed and it's like, okay, I have to do a video that's going fast so I have time to edit and everything. And I don't want it to be like that because I want to do more like longer videos and I want to do a palette collection video but it's not like I don't have the time for it because um, the videos has to come up the same day and making a palette collection video that is going to take a long while so I am thinking about taking a little break from YouTube not uploading but I will film that week just to like have some things pre-recorded and stuff like that so i am actually thinking about doing that and maybe it's after this video i will try to have this up tomorrow yeah i do the same thing again but has this up tomorrow when it's sunday and then have a little break for a week and then come back in full speed again I thinking about doing that just to get ahead and be able to do the videos that I want to do and I hope you understand that I I was so good at this for a for a little while but then I was like I was not home for two weeks and then it was a lot of on work and stuff like that so I like finished up all my pre-recorded videos and yeah and then <laughs> around between Christmas and New Year's I filmed some videos that I haven't put up because they are all a little bit out of focus and then I decided to buy a new camera and then I wanted to wait for that camera to this camera to come before I recorded something else so it was like a week that I didn't record anything and yeah I'm just going to spritz and drink some Pepsi because I want to not feel stressed about my youtube channel because i'm stressed about so many other things in life and i don't need to be stressed over this so i'm thinking about that and i also want to be better at commenting videos i've thought about that it's like i watch a lot of youtubes and i like never comment so they like don't know that i exist but like i am feeling like yeah we are not friends but you know when you're watching somebody really much and you feel like they are your friends i feel that with some people that i don't even know know me because i never comment so i want to be better to like show my support but i am here all my friends out there i am watching you all I'm just not that good at commenting right now and I want to be better at this at that this year. Okay, why haven't I used this palette before? This is really good. I think I'm going to record a super exciting video after this. I am thinking about doing my year long haul. Year long haul. <laughs> my haul of 2019. I didn't do a single haul last year or I did some minor hauls but I also want to do like my finale of my low buy and I don't know if I want to do that in two separate videos or not I haven't decided yet but I think I want to do two separates because I know that not all people that want to see a whole video want to see me chatting about my low buy. I know that. And I have like been waiting for a palette. 
for such a long time. Okay, I really, th this is such a good palette. It really, really is. And that this was Nabla's first palette and that I have had this palette for over a year. It's a shame. Yeah, I think that was all I wanted to share in this Get Red With Me. I hope you liked it. But you seem to like my Get Red With Me's, I hope. Even though I shed like a lot, maybe I should take this. Yes, I'm going to finish this makeup off. But I can take talk about one more thing I remembered. I I think I have talked about in one video what I things I want to do for this year. Another thing I want to do is shop my stash kind of video. And I want to do a shop my stash with like base products because I have like some blushes and I really like blush so I am thinking about doing like the blush of the month or maybe take like two blushes for a month and just use these those two blushes for the whole month and it is like a little problem for me to do a shop my stash because I don't wear makeup daily at work but I am filming normally at least three times a week so I would like a shop my stash in my videos because my videos are never like focused around blush and this shade. Whew. It was this one, Vanitas. It looks awesome. So little shop my stash. And that's also why I started like, I think it was the video before this. I started my palette of the month and that is a little bit like included in shop my stash. I think I'm going to take dirty talk from Colourpop. This has like become one of my favorite pens. Okay, and what do I want to do for my lips? I am of course taking something from Nabla, but I don't really know what. I guess that Hanging Rock would look awesome to this, but I don't want to like use it up. I think I'm going to take Rumors that is like it. I think this is cold red. Okay, I'm going to drink some. This does do look amazing, but it's not like amazing as Hanging Rock, but it is an amazing red. And this is Rumors, I didn't know if I said it. So yeah, I think that is all I want to talk about is, the, is, is this. Is it. In this Get Ready With Me, I hope you understand why I'm taking a break. And I don't know why I think that I need to defend myself while I'm taking a break because this is my channel and I am doing this as a hobby but I will hopefully be back in a week I am not like 100% sure about this break I am like 98% sure because sometimes when I record a video I am like so excited to share it with you and want to get it up straight away so I don't know maybe it will be a little bit silence for me for a week but then I promise I will get back as normal with four videos a week so yeah I really hope you like this get ready with me if you have some thoughts about things do you have any new year's resolution or goals for this year i haven't set any goal for like my youtube channel more than i want to keep it going i have no like subscribing goal i have no like watch hours goal i have no like 
go like that and not even with my Instagram but I just want to say thank you for everybody that is supporting me on Instagram I have like been so focused on my YouTube that the growth on my Instagram I haven't like watched even I don't have I have 266 followers on Instagram but for me that is like I haven't like thought about it but thank you and you like my pictures a lot and it really makes me happy to see that you like my Instagram and I will try to get like a little bit more focus on Instagram this year maybe I cannot promise but yeah that was all for this get ready with me I really hope you liked it if you wonder anything about the shades or the products or the names of the products I have used I will leave them all down in the description and yeah, I hope you will stay here with me in this year and if you have any anything you want to see from me, please let me know and I love to get feedback from you and when you give me suggestions on things to do. So yeah, that was all for this Get Ready With Me. I really hope you liked it and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!